This one's been a long time coming. A lot of you have been interested in this video. So today, let's do it. ROG Phone 2 versus the OnePlus 7T. Which of this is the better buy? Let's find out in today's video. Hey guys, Ash here from c 4 e Tech, And if you do end up liking what you see, please don't forget to turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Let's now get this comparison video started. When you see these two phones side by side, the first thing that strikes you is the size difference. The ROG Phone 2 is quite a bit taller than the OnePlus 7T. It's also slightly wider and thicker, which means when it comes to in-hand usage, the OnePlus 7T, it feels more comfortable. It is smaller in size, it's lighter too, but at 190 grams, it's not like the 7T is feather light. It's got some heft to it, but at 240 grams, the ROG Phone 2 is at an entirely different level. That's thanks in large to Asus adding in a ton of performance focused features here and Asus isn't trying to disguise it as anything else. In fact, they are proud of the ROG Phone 2's performance and gaming focus. You can see that pretty clearly from the design itself. Aggressive gamery aesthetics to the back, coupled with the exposed copper venting and a flashy RGB ROG logo. The ROG Phone 2 is a beast of a phone through and through. On the other hand, the OnePlus 7T opts for a comparatively more muted look. It's got a frosted glass finish, coupled with a subtle color changing pattern. I quite like what OnePlus has done here with the circular cameras and the glazier blue color. As far as protection is concerned, we have Corning's Gorilla Glass 6 to the front on both the 7T and the ROG Phone 2. And while the 7T opts for Gorilla Glass 5 to the back, Asus have gone with Gorilla Glass 3. Of course, thanks to the open venting and the side type C ports, we don't get any sort of water or dust resistance with the ROG Phone 2. OnePlus on the other hand boasts of day-to-day -day water resistance. But given the lack of an official IP rating, take it for what it's worth. Now while OnePlus has snuck in a few hits here, Asus have a ton of things going for it too. The air triggers that we, we will get to in a bit, there is also a second USB port to the side and more importantly, a headphone jack. That is something the ROG Phone 2, it doesn't compromise on. So if you want a smaller, more minimal phone, you can give this round to the 7T. But if you want a more feature packed but bigger phone, then the ROG Phone 2 it is. Let's now turn these phones around and talk a bit about their displays. Both of them come with AMOLED panels. The resolutions aren't all that different either, Full HD+. But that's where the similarities end. OnePlus sport a 6.55 inch, what they're calling fluid display. It's got a 90 Hz refresh rate along with HDR10 plus support. And for everything from gaming to content consumption, it looks gorgeous. That being said, it does have a dewdrop notch up top and some might find it a little distracting. On the other hand, we have a 6.59 inch panel on the ROG Phone 2. This has a 120 Hz refresh rate. It also comes with HDR10 support. What makes it feel noticeably faster with day to day usage is the 240 Hz sampling rate. Yes, it's got much larger bezels to the top and bottom, but Asus more than makes up for it with really loud front firing stereo speakers. These are the loudest and best sounding speakers I've seen on a smartphone in recent times, and it beats the ones on the 70 by quite a margin. Overall, I feel like the ROG Phone 2 offers a more immersive experience thanks to the more responsive screen and better speakers. So this round, I'm gonna give it to Asus. Next up, we move to performance. Both these phones, they come with top of the line Snapdragon 855 Plus processors, ample amounts of RAM, and blazing fast UFS 3.0 storage. As we've already seen in our speed tests, both these phones are pretty much neck and neck. So either one should be good enough no matter how intense your workload. That being said, Asus has a dedicated X mode which increases overall performance. And there is Armory Crate that lets you configure your CPU and GPU speeds for each game. So I think the ROG Phone 2 has an edge here. This phone also has a more robust cooling solution thanks to the copper vents. The Aeroactive Cooler 2 takes, a st takes it a step further. Because of that, plus a lot more gaming focused accessories like the TwinView Dock 2, the Kunai Gamepad, I'm gonna go with the ROG Phone 2 when it comes to performance, especially when it comes to mobile gaming or pretty much any instance where performance needs to be sustained over a period of time. It's not just with the accessories, even without the accessories, it's the larger vapor chamber and everything that the ROG Phone 2 has going for it. Now, when it comes to battery life, the OnePlus 70 has 
respectable uh, 3800 milliamp hour battery on board but if you uh, have the screen refresh set at 90 hertz and you're a power user the battery here is gonna go down quick in fact during my review time of, of the oneplus 7t i was a bit disappointed with the battery life uh, i got around 20 percent left in the left in the bank at the end of the day uh, no such problems with the rg phone 2 though it's got an absolutely massive 6000 milliamp hour battery on board this is probably the highest capacity battery that i've come across on a phone with flagship internals i mean have you seen any other phone with flagship internals but a higher capacity battery i haven't but if you have let me know in the comments below anyway this battery does add to the weight but when it comes to battery life the rog phone 2 just keeps going on and on and on we also get fast charging on both oneplus comes with a new warp charge 30t that can charge the 70 from 0 to 70 in just 30 minutes that's pretty impressive the ROG Phone 2 also supports 30 watt fast charging. It manages to charge the far bigger 6000 mAh battery in under one and a half hours. The base variant of the ROG Phone 2 does not come with a 30 watt charger in the box though. The higher end variant does and it also comes with a special case in the aeroactive cooler in the box but the base variant it only gets an 18 watt charger. Now while that is a bit of a bummer. Where the ROG Phone 2 gets a leg up is with the fact that it has support not just for the proprietary charging technology like OnePlus, but also USB PD. So basically, if you're using a power bank that supports quick charge, the OnePlus 7T is not gonna charge fast. The ROG Phone 2, on the other hand, it will still charge fast. So from that perspective and the fact that it has the higher capacity battery, this round battery, ROG Phone 2. From hardware, let's now move on to software. Both these phones have a stockish Android interface, although you wouldn't recognize it immediately with the ROG Phone 2 since they actually have a custom theme on top. Switch to the classic theme and there you go, stockish Android 9 Pie. Of course, Asus have thrown in their own bits like X Mode, Armory Create and Game Genie, along with a bunch of other functions like screen recorder and live streaming options, all of them focused on gaming. On top of that, we also have a bunch of gestures as well as dark mode, on the flip side, with Oxygen OS, it is based on the newer Android 10. That's what we get on the OnePlus 7T. Now, most of you know how much I like Oxygen OS. It is clean, it is fast. OnePlus have been really good with updates in recent years. As I've said before in the performance round, uh, both these phones are buttery smooth. The user interface just seems to fly. So just like with the Bell, one of these is minimal while the other is more feature packed. So choose the winner here based on your preference. Now, as usual though, before we head into cameras, let's take a quick look at the sundries. And there are a lot of sundries. So let's start with the OnePlus 70. We have the alert slider to the right. That is something I find really useful in day-to-day -day usage. The ROG Phone 2 hits right back with the air triggers. Pressure sensitive points here that we can use as triggers. There is squeeze functionality here, kind of like what we've seen with the pixels. We have them configured on ours to launch Google Assistant with a short squeeze, the X mode on a long squeeze. And to its credit, it works really, really well. Asus have also included a quad array of mics, which should greatly improve voice pickup, something mobile streamers would really appreciate. And like we saw, the ROG Phone 2 also comes with a headphone jack, something the OnePlus 70 lacks. When it comes to biometric authentication though, both phones include face unlock as well as under the display fingerprint scanners. The former is a little faster on the OnePlus. Finally, the side type C ports on the ROG Phone 2. This is how all gaming accessories are connected to the phone. And some of them like the mobile desktop dock are quite extraordinary in their scope. Anyway, I have a detailed video on these accessories coming soon. So I'll talk a lot about them in that video. For now, we can use this port to charge the phone in landscape orientation. And even via this port, the phone still supports 18 watt charging, so that's helpful while gaming. And finally, we have the addressable RGB backlight on the ROG Phone 2 that can function as a notification light or simply add some flare to the phone. Overall, this round, as you can see, it's clearly a win for the ROG Phone 2. And finally, it's time we talk a bit about the cameras. The ROG Phone 2 is focused mainly on gaming, but that doesn't mean the cameras are a dud on this. Like with the OnePlus 7T, the primary sensor here is again Sony's IMX586, but the 7T does have a wider aperture lens, f1.6, and this one also has OIS. 
the lens on the ROG phone 2 that is f1.79 no OIS now under bright light both these phones they go toe to toe they take some crisp good looking shots everything from the dynamic range to the colors they're on point nothing to complain here when it comes to low light the oneplus has an obvious advantage ois coupled with nightscape with the wider aperture it means we get brighter crisper pictures with more accurate colors the pictures on the rog phone 2 seem to have some slight yellowish tones to it it is less apparent with the primary camera but in this shot you can clearly see it with the walls of the building Switching over to the ultra wide, Asus really struggles here while OnePlus still manages to come out with a decent looking shot. The tables are flipped when it comes to daylight snaps though. The 13 megapixel shooter on the ROG Phone 2 does better when it comes to dynamic range. You can see the blues in the sky in this shot and here there is a lot more detail in the shadows. The colors though are a bit more punchy on the OnePlus. The 70 is a little ahead on the detail front thanks to the 16 megapixel snapper on it. OnePlus also has support for a super macro mode, something the ROG Phone 2 lacks. We also get 2x optical zoom on the 70 thanks to the 13 megapixel telephoto camera. This isn't something the ROG Phone 2 can do. When it comes to portraits, the edge reduction is on par, but the ROG Phone 2 opts for a stronger background color than the OnePlus 70. But the 70 does give you an option between taking a more zoomed in shot with the telephoto lens or a wider one with the primary camera. As far as skin tones and colors go, I prefer the one shot with the 70 a bit more. Turning it around to selfies, we have a 24 megapixel shooter on the Asus compared to the 16 megapixel IMX471 sensor on the 70. The 70 surprisingly does better with detail and of course nails the dynamic range as well as colors. The difference is quite stark, especially when the ROG Phone 2 is in the 24 megapixel mode. On to selfie portraits then, the resolution on the ASUS drops to just 6 megapixels and the edge deduction is a bit wonky. The 70 is the clear winner here. When it comes to videos, both phones can capture 4K 60fps video, OIS plays its part here and we have the more stable footage with the OnePlus 7T. While both videos are crisp, the dynamic range is a bit better on the ROG Phone 2. Another thing to note here is by default the primary camera takes a wider shot on the 70 when compared to the ROG Phone 2. Both phones can also take video through the ultra wide camera at 4K 30fps nonetheless. Quite impressive. The details and the colors are better on the OnePlus. The overall footage also looks brighter once more. The OnePlus 7T also has a super steady option that uses heavy EIS along with the OIS to eliminate any major shake from the video. My final verdict. If you're looking for a more versatile camera that takes excellent snaps and good videos, the OnePlus 7T is definitely the way to go. So we've seen these two phones trade blows throughout this video and at the end of all of it, it comes down to price. And even here, they're both priced very similarly. Now the OnePlus 70 starts at 38,000 rupees for the 8128 model and it's exactly the same for the ROG Phone 2. So if cameras are your priority and you value water resistance and fast Android updates, then I'd say the OnePlus 70 is gonna be a better pick for you. However, if performance is your priority, you want as many features as possible for the price, a gaming focused phone with incredible battery life is something you like, uh, one that also happens to have the best, one of the best displays out there, then the ROG Phone 2, that's gonna be the one for you. At the end of the day, both these phones are performance monsters. Now, depending on your priorities, you can end up picking one or, one or the other. So what is your choice? What would you go with? Is it gonna be the ROG Phone 2 or the OnePlus 7T for you? Do you feel Asus has gotten really, really competitive this time around? Do you feel OnePlus has kinda gotten a little too comfortable hiking prices? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And I guess that's pretty much it for this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on whatever you felt about it. Subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech, and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.